Hello, it's Maggie, the Cheshire Crafter here. I've just replaced last week's roses in the lounge with these fresh 12 blooms from Aldi. And I'm just going to show you what my routine is for changing last week's roses into this week's and how I've personalised them. Come with me into the kitchen and I'll show you what I do on a weekly basis. Fine. Uh, for the blooms, they last seven days. I'm just going to show you how I changed my flowers from last week to this. I've taken off, I've taken off the um, petals from last week's roses, and I'm going to dry them them in the oven. When I cook my dinner tonight, as the oven cools down, I'll leave the door open and I'll place these. They're in a Pyrex dish. I'll just place these in a very cool oven. Uh, to dry out for a few hours and then I'll make potpourri out of those and I'll show you how I do that in another video. Meanwhile I've got two of these Ikea vases which are ideal for the shape of the roses for them to splay out. I originally bought them years ago and they cost about a pound. I think the last one, the last time I went to Ikea they were two pound and I've got last week's one soaking in the sink. Um, I sterilise them using the um, fairy liquid antibacterial eucalyptus and as hot a water as the vase can take and I'm just make sure that the vase is cleaned inside and out and then dried thoroughly and then I personalise them with tinting and the pearls and last week's I've now got soaking in boiling hot water with some of that antibacterial fairy liquid in and I've got them very deeply steeped so that as they go into fresh water, they're not going to infect my new roses. And I'm just going to show you how I personalise my flowers. So in a fresh, clean vase, I've put cold water and I've added the flower food and allowed it to dissolve. And then for each stem, which come long and tall like this, I'm going to take off about one or two inches at the bottom and I've cut them with clean scissors at a diagonal at the bottom. Be very careful because there are thorns on these. And I've taken off the lower section of leaves so that no leaves are going to be below the water line. Any leaves below the water line will start affecting your water and uh, infect the water and the flowers won't survive that long. And then I'm cutting, I'm cutting the uh, roses down at a variety of heights so that I can put the, the tallest ones at the back and lower ones at the front and in the middle. So my roses are now all prepared and ready. There are actually 12 stems in here. Now for £2.29 for roses that last a week, that's fantastic. And my waste is going to go in my food waste bin in my kitchen. This is all classed as biodegradable. And if they go in a biodegradable plastic bag, they will uh, break down. Um, I don't pay extra for my garden waste to be taken away. So I put it in the food waste and uh, I don't get shouted at. So I'm going to try and film this and do it with one hand, which might be difficult. The shape of these vases is going to really, really help. Because you don't need any netting, you don't need any netting, you don't need any um, additional feature at the bottom and they will help your roses splay out so they can be displayed beautifully. Let's just take that petal off, that petal off, pop those in there. If you've got any, any, um, any rose leaves that look like they're going to hit the waterline, or they're starting to get a little bit bedraggled, then just take them off. Take them off. I don't want them falling into the water. I'm putting taller, thicker roses at the back. And I'm putting smaller ones at the front smaller spindly ones at the front and I'm using the rose stems themselves to try and get a little bit of a display in the middle there's nothing holding these roses in place 
other than themselves and the vase. And now I'm just going to add some additional interest. This is purchased from garden centres and I've had this years. If you sterilise the lower stems, you're not going to infect that water. And this is gold coloured ting ting. And I've also got some seed pearls on a little bit of, of uh, straight ting ting. And I'm just going to add those in. Just push, push them in amongst the flowers. There's about five. I tend to use odd numbers. Large one at the back. And make sure you've got some all the way round. Doing this with one hand. I hope, do hope you can see what I'm doing. And then I've got, I've actually only got four of these. But um, they just add that little bit of interest through. These are little seed pearls on ting ting and these have got a bit of a spike so there's actually nine pieces of ting ting added to add interest into that vase of flowers and i'm going to show you what they look like when i put them in place there they're now in place above my fire in my lounge and they're going to give me pleasure all week and pleasure to anybody that walks into my lounge too um after going out to frodrum yesterday i wasn't able to get out of bed today so my carer selected um this bunch of roses for me there's 12 roses here uh for two pound 29 and i don't think you can beat that the color's beautiful now when i personalize them with ting ting and pearl it's for a reason uh the name margaret means pearl so when I add pearls in I've really personalized my flowers I call it magnifying I've magnified I have magnified my display anyway I hope you enjoy um, just seeing what I do on a weekly basis for the price of a cup of well less than a cup of coffee a cup of coffee uh, costs more than that um, every time I walk into the lounge or anybody else does coming into my flat or whenever I sit watching the television or doing some sewing I can see them and they give me a great deal of pleasure so I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I do on a weekly basis so for now this is Maggie saying bye for now see you soon <laughs>